Previously on Solar Balls, the mysterious planet X has left the solar system and found a strange celestial body roaming in the dark. Wise. Wise. Where have I heard your name before? Beats me. It'll come back. <sighs> so, why are your eyes all black? We'll discuss that later. So mysterious! <laughs> Bruh, this is so crazy. What is? This! All of this! Meaning you! You're... You're an interstellar object! That's offensive. You know what I mean. Anyways, when can I meet your leader? When I know you've moved on. When I know I can trust you. Bruh, I've moved on. Like, so much. I even broke the laws of physics. Everyone breaks the laws of physics out here. Well, yeah, but... I, okay, the thing is... Why did you leave, X? Excuse me? I've taken a peek at your solar system these past few million years. I know you spent most of your existence alone. Vanished. You could have left many times. So why now? Why do I get the feeling this is a test? Because it is. Wise! Ugh, give me a sec. What are you doing here, Ogle? Wise! I found you! I recruited two new members, but who is that? I'm Planet X, and this is my space rock, Guillermo. Yep. Oh, so it is you! Our leader always says that you- Ogle, I've told you a million times, think before you speak. Maybe speak a bit less. But what did I- Oh, oh, yep, okay, I almost told him the, the thing that I'm not gonna say anymore. Just go. I'll follow you soon. Don't tell me you got lost. I got lost, yep. Oh, girl, you were stationed 10,000 light years away from here. You can find me, but you can't find our base? 10,000 light years? Hold on. Ogle? As an Ogle 2016 BLG 1928? Uh-huh. You know about me? Well, the Earthlings saw you. For about 42 minutes. You were the shortest microlensing event ever observed. Earthlings? You mean... Oh, right! Your solar system has life! I'm not sure it's my solar system anymore. Well, then you'll fit right in. Oh, cool! Okay, I'll, uh, wait for you over there. Come on, guys! Gung gung, gung gung, gung gung, gung gung, gung gung, gung gung. Hey, bud, listen. Gung gung, gung! Yes, I missed you too. Hey, have you seen Orcus? Gung! Sedna's summoning us. There's a situation. Gung, 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 gung. Planet X left the solar system. Oort Cloud and all. We need to summon the team and discuss our next steps. Because if he meets anyone, we'll all be in big trouble. Gung, gung! Oh, <laughs> wise. I think I know who you are. Huh? You're exoplanets. <laughs> nope. Of course you are. You're using the wrong word. Exoplanet means a planet that orbits a star outside of yours. Yeah? Well, you for sure don't orbit my star, so... <laughs> You've spent so much time on a leash. Your imagination can't even comprehend what we are. Then don't talk in riddles and just tell me! You haven't passed my test yet. Oh, seriously? Dude, you're getting on my nerves. Maybe it's best if I... Whoa! We're not done yet. You're not a planet. You're a brown dwarf. You may have the size of Jupiter, but you have like 10 times his mass. You're... You're wise to wait 5-5! I finally remembered who you are! You're a failed star! Do not call me a star ever. Understood. Yes. Copy that. Not cool. Actually, I'm the coolest brown dwarf out there. I'm more planet than star. Whatever. What does it matter? It does. Oh, I am done with your ambiguous, empty answers. You want me to pass your test so we can talk? You want to know why I left my solar system? That's all I asked. It's because I don't belong. All the other planets are like a family. A dysfunctional little family led by the sun who has... Kind of lost his marbles, but still, he's everyone's anchor. While I'm not one of them. 
Maybe there's an incomplete family out there for me, or maybe I simply feel more comfortable here in the dark. I don't know. Two, one, and... Yo! It's the Earth! And Luna! Uh, thanks for watching our show. I hope you're learning a thing or two about space. Or if not, that you're at least having fun. Earth. The whole point of solar balls is that we do both. Well, no one told me that. It's in the script. Anyways, if you like us, and by us, I mean our show, then we invite you to support our talented team of writers, animators, and everyone else who makes this possible. If you'd like to help, we have the Patreon, where you can get early episodes, learn tons of secrets about the future of the show, and have your name in the credits. But if merch is your thing, then oh boy, do we have some cool stuff in our store. You can get plushies of me and Luna. Ahem. <laughs> Uh, and many other characters, as well as our very own trading card game, Solar Cards. Oh yeah, we did a whole Kickstarter and all, and it's such a fun game to play with your friends and family while you learn about space. Or just to collect them all. Look, Earth, it's me but made of bricks. Samesies! <laughs> Anyways, thank you for your support, and enjoy the rest of the show. What? You think I'm being edgy? You have not lived what I've lived, Mr. Wise Guy. I spent four points. Simmer down, Max. I was smiling because you passed the test. Wait, what? I'll go, everyone. Time to move. Yay! Oh, I've been so homesick. Wait, Wise, tell me, am I in? That will be up to my leader. So what did I get for passing your silly little test? You get the right to hear what we're all about. Who? You and your club? Yeah, but first get ready. We're about to travel distances you can't even imagine. So we're breaking the laws of physics again? Correct. Isn't it fun that we can just, like, do that? Yeah, and pretty unrealistic. Come on, don't be boring. Stop chit-chatting. Traveling at the speeds we'll travel is not easy, and a single mistake could mean a collision with a star. And we really don't want that. Now, I know the way, so just stay close, okay? Yes, sir! X? What are you guys? We're Rogue Planet. Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!